You're watching Keystone Science, and in today's episode, we're going to show you how you can get electrical current out of a crystal. First, I'd like to show you guys some objects that you probably have around that utilize the piezoelectric effect. If you don't know what this is, this is a Christmas light fixer. How the Christmas light fixer works is that when I pull the trigger, a little hammer strikes a quartz crystal. The action of striking the quartz crystal creates a high voltage spike. The high voltage spike will be able to overcome the little shunt down there at the bottom of the bulb. This allows a bulb with a broken filament to still allow current to pass through it. Now, another common thing that I'm sure that all of you have interacted with that uses the piezoelectric effect are these. As you can see, whenever I pull the trigger, there's a little spark inside of there. That spark is enough to ignite the gases to therefore light the flame. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this apart so I can show you guys the piezoelectric effect that can generate the flame. Okay, so now we can open it up and see what's inside of this thing. Anyways, let's go ahead and pull this out. As you can see here, there's a little cell with these two wires sticking out of it. What happens to ignite the flame with this piezoelectric generator is that the black one is going to be connected to this metal frame that goes up, while the white wire is going to be connected to the line that carries the fuel. And so this way, when you start releasing the fuel, it'll create a spark right up next to it to ignite the flame. Okay, so here I have the generator completely taken out. Now watch these two wires when I squeeze the button. As you can see, every time I push down the hammer, a little spark is created. So you're probably wondering to yourself now, why does exerting force onto a crystal make electrical current? A common crystal to use for the piezoelectric effect is quartz. Quartz's chemical formula is SiO2. As you can see, they arrange themselves into a hexagon. Now the silicon atoms have a net positive charge, while the oxygens share a net negative charge. Now, keeping in mind with these charges, if the crystal gets pushed in this way, then the shape will more likely resemble this. And the top will have a net positive charge, while the bottom will have a net negative charge. Now instead, if I were to take this crystal and pull out on it like this, it would generate more of this shape. Now, based off of this arrangement, the top would have a net negative charge, while the bottom would have a net positive charge. And so that's why when the crystal is struck, you can see the quick burst of energy. Now, there are many more uses for the piezoelectric effect. In a previous episode, we showed how you can make your very own speaker, and how the sound was generated by the oscillation of current. This is a piezoelectric buzzer. It uses the exact same principle, except for instead of exerting the mechanical energy, we're giving it electrical energy, and it's giving us the mechanical energy of the vibrations. And so if I take a frequency generator like this one that we made in a previous episode, I can connect it up to the crystal, and now when I flip it on, you can hear the tone as I change the frequencies. Buzzers like this are extremely efficient on their energy usage. In fact, just barely I was giving it less than 10 milliamps. However, the best thing about these piezoelectric buzzers is that unlike speakers, they can vibrate at very high frequencies. And so for that reason, things like ultrasound are done using quartz crystals in the piezoelectric effect. Okay, so here I have the piezoelectric crystal hooked up to my oscilloscope. As you can see, the piezoelectric crystal turns any small vibrations into voltage. Okay, so on this iPad I have a function generator pulled up, and watch how well it follows the wave pattern given off. And so just like that, when we give the crystal an oscillating mechanical energy, it gives us an oscillating electrical current. As you can see, even when I'm giving it a rough square wave pattern, the piezoelectric crystal smooths it out to a nice sinusoidal wave. So now you know what the piezoelectric effect is and some of its applications. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it and learned something new, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see my weekly science videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so they'll show up in your subscription newsfeed. Next week I want to try utilizing the skin effect that high voltage AC current gives in order to safely pass high voltage through my body. So if any of you have any knowledge about this or any advice, I'd really much appreciate it as I can't find anything on the internet. So guys, remember to be safe and have a wonderful day. You're watching Keystone Science, and in today's episode, we're going to show you how to generate hydrogen using a little bit of chemistry. 